What's happening, Boot Junkies? Mike Delgadio here, back with another video on home studio setup for voiceover. And once again, not in my booth, I'm in the shower. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and fix the acoustics of this shower and go from the world's worst vocal booth to maybe something that will actually work. So let's get started. First, let's get out of here so you can hear me. Okay, so let's talk about the shower. The shower is like the worst possible vocal booth that you have in the world. It is all hard surfaces all the way around, very reflective surfaces, and it's a very small space, which means there's lots of standing waves because that short distance means that there's um, standing waves within the shower that are really within the vocal, uh, within the, the frequencies that are within our voice, especially in the like mid bass section of our voice, not the really, really low part of our voice, not the super high part of our voice, but sort of right in that mid range. And you'll hear it, it sounds boomy and echoey and gross. And so what we're gonna do, try and do is we're gonna try and fix that with acoustic treatment. So let's go see what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's talk about the issues that we have. I need my bongo ties. You know what bongo ties are? You have your bongo ties? You need your bongo ties. They're this little elastics with a bongo shaped thing on it. You gotta have bongo ties. Watch this. I love these things. So let's talk about the issues that we have with a shower. First, it's really reflective, reflective. These hard surfaces means that your voice bounces off and it's bouncing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It's sealing on its tile on the top and it's tile down here on the bottom. So we have a long standing wave this way and we've got standing waves this way and there's a standing wave that goes from this wall to the wall back behind the camera. All of these different echoes make for a really terrible sounding booth that really rings a lot. So especially in certain frequencies, you'll hear it. There's like a ring sound and that is the standing wave where the wavelength is a perfect fraction, uh, exactly this wavelength. The, the one cycle of the wave is this long or it's half or a quarter, eighth, sixteenth. All of those different frequencies that will have a perfect uh, standing wave. I don't know, maybe I'll show like a jump rope with a standing wave. I'll try and find a video. Uh, but there's a standing wave here uh, between these two walls, between these two walls, and between the floor and ceiling. And so what we need to try and do is we need to try and knock all of these reflections down. And we're going to do that with acoustic treatment. Now, this is my shower. I'm not really going to acoustically treat my shower. I need to make it in a way that I can turn this back into a shower when I need it to. And that's what I want to try and show you also is the ability to make an acoustically treated space that's temporary, that you can take it down and put it under your bed when you're done with it, and then bring it out and hang it up and work with it when you need it. So if you have a, if you're a renter or you're in a college dorm where you're not allowed to make modifications to your space, you can't put anything more than like a tiny you know, tack in the wall, or maybe you're not even allowed to do that. How are you going to fix it? So the first thing that I did, and I did this before the video started, is I put command hooks. See that? I'll get a close up of that. Command hooks in here, and these are just self-adhesive. They just stick on and they make no permanent change to the wall, and they're just stuck on right there. Now, in a previous video, you saw me make a super cheap acoustic panel, and I rushed through it and it came out terribly, but it works. And if you don't have one of those acoustic panels, go watch that video. I, I'm backwards. I never know if it's on this side or if it's on this side, but I'll link to that video that I'll show you how to make this super cheap acoustic panel that's super effective. You need like no tools and we'll see if we can, we'll see if we can make a fix and I'll show it to you back where I have more space. So maybe if you've seen that video, you remember when I made this thing that I made the acoustic panel that's made out of Owens Corning 703 that's glued with a single piece of wire on the back. Huh? Can you see that? Just one simple piece of wire and some duct tape. 
And I think that was it. I don't remember. Maybe some straw, some like drinking straw. But this is our acoustic panel. It's four inches thick of Owens Corning 703 rigid fiberglass insulation. And why do I love it? Because I can hold it just like this. It doesn't deform. It doesn't slouch. It doesn't require any framing. So I can make it hang on the wall just like a picture. And it's really not much heavier than a typical poster. So it's not going to pull your wall down. You don't have to glue it to the wall. We're just going to hang it on the wall just like it was a picture. So I've made two of these. I'll go get the other one. So I didn't have any more of that, that tan fabric. So I made some with, so made one out of the leftover fabric I have in my booth. See this thing, I didn't, I made this one nicer. Ah, it's nice, isn't it? So again, it just has some wire and a little duct tape to hold it in place. And this is another Owens Corning 703 panel, four inches thick. This is just out of remnant stuff that I had left. I also had some leftover thin stuff. So one inch, if I had two inch or four inch, it would be better, but this was all I had left. So I have another one inch that's just a panel. Look, I didn't even have enough fabric of this fabric. So I just glued it all the way around and this is gonna be one other one. This is what we're gonna try and use for the ceiling. And I have two, two of these that we're gonna try and do something with. But that's it. You see, it's all really light. I mean, I can, it, it's, it takes up like virtually no, no space. Well, it takes up a lot of space, but it doesn't, uh, it's not heavy. It doesn't require any wood or hinges or anything like that. It's just that little pile and it fits under your bed, could fit in a closet. And we're going to see if this will turn it into a great acoustic booth or, or a passably sounding acoustic vocal booth. So let's go hang these and see what difference it makes. So first, let's take a listen to how this sounds in the shower with no treatment around it. Uh, so I've got nothing on the ceiling, nothing on the walls, and you can hear there's lots of reverberation in this room. My, my voice sounds muddy. It rings. You can hear things reflecting off the walls. Every time my word ends, there's a little bit of echo that lasts. And that is my voice bouncing off all of these different surfaces. It's bouncing off the ceiling, off the floor, off both of these walls, off the wall behind me, off the wall in front of me. And it's making so it's a very muddy, terrible sounding uh, recording. And if I'm trying to provide this to a client, they're going to refuse it every time because it sounds terrible, right? I'm in the world's worst vocal booth, aren't I? So a client would never accept something that sounds like this because it sounds terrible. The first one I'm going to try and do is that thin one that I showed you. I'm going to put that in the ceiling. Now, normally I'd want to put a thicker one in the ceiling, but I don't have a thicker one. So let's get these out of the way. And I'm just gonna try and set this thing up here as best I can. Okay, so that's just up above us. And already I can hear a huge improvement because I've knocked down this reflection between the top and bottom. Now I can get away with an inch thick because there's a, there's a big air gap above it. So there's probably 12 inches of air between that and the reflection. So it has to go through the inch, bounce off the top, back through the inch and back down. So it's almost like it gives me two inches of absorption plus that air gap, which really helps knock down that reflection. So let's get the next one. And so that's all there was to it. I've got one inch of acoustic paneling above me. I've got four inches on this wall, which is knocking down the standing wave in between these two surfaces. And I've got four inches behind me, which is knocking down the standing wave between these two surfaces. And there's a one inch one over there because that bathroom has also got some hard stuff around it. Uh, so I've got another inch on that side, trying to make sure I capture and knock down as many reflections as I can. We should be able to hear that it's a huge difference. This is what it sounds like before. Before we do any of the treatment, you can hear the echo, you can hear the reverb, 
and now we can hear what it sounds like now. As you can hear, it has made an enormous difference in how this sounds. So we're hearing this directly through the Neumann microphone in this terribly in this terrible booth that's now been treated. And you can see by making your treatments portable so that they can just hang on the wall, you can really save yourself a lot of time and a lot of headache by making a system that you can take down and put up as you need. You should never be able, you should never have to say, I can't record because my space is terrible and I can't fix it. So that's all there is to it. I hope this helps. I hope you get a sense now of what you can do with some good acoustic paneling Owens Corning 703, that's the stuff to get, in my opinion. Remember to use a dust mask. Luke is barking at the mailman. What am I going to do? Remember to use a dust mask when you're putting these things together because the dust that these make is something that you shouldn't breathe. Watch my other video for how to build these panels. But now you can be able to, now you'll be able to hear that if you are in your booth, if you're in a good treated booth, that it's gonna make all the difference in the world. Now I have to go get Luca to stop barking. So go get some acoustic paneling, even get in your shower if you have to, and record something amazing.